Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Michael from the Reptile Zoo bringing you another creature feature. Today we're going to take a look at one of the creepiest of our crawlies, the tarantula. A lot of people are really not big fans of these. You know, at one point I wasn't either, but I got to know them. And ever since I got to handle my first one, I fell in love with them. So now I want to tell you what I can about these guys. This particular species is known as an Arizona blonde. Uh, they are called that because, of course, of the nice light color. Uh, anywhere from, of course, a blonde to a nice kind of a light sandy brown color. These animals are uh, like a lot of tarantulas. You know, they're kind of big and they're hairy, but honestly, really not dangerous. Now, that's not to say they're not able to hurt you. Uh, tarantulas do actually have a couple ways of defending themselves. And believe it or not, the one you should be least scared of is this part right here. So there's a couple of short fat limbs there called the chelicerae, and underneath those are where the fangs are attached. And they're actually, they are pretty big. They're roughly that long and they're quite sharp. That is where their venom comes from. So this is a toxic animal I'm handling. Although the, the potency of a, venom, of, of a venom from a tarantula is really not so bad. Many people compare them to bee stings, um, but there is one defense that these guys have that I gotta say from personal experience is really, really not fun. Now, this is not a bad thing on this animal, but you'll notice there is a bit of a bald spot there on the rear. Uh, that part of the body is known as the abdomen. And these hairs are meant to come off, uh, specifically for self-defense. They can flick these hairs off. Uh, it's like when someone, you know, blows dust off of a book or off of a shelf or something, you know, they haven't cleaned in a while. And what good could that do? Okay, you're throwing hairs at me, big whoop. Um, it's not like anyone's scared when I take off my wig and throw it at you, right? Well, you really don't want to stick around when these guys start flicking hairs. Of course, she's a real sweetheart. Uh, she's not a hair flicker. The reason she's got a bald spot <clears throat> is from crawling in and out of her hidey hole because her, <laughs> her butt rubs on the ceiling uh, and so the hairs comes off. But what happens there is these hairs are very, very, very fine and they're actually comparable to fiberglass. I don't know if any of you have ever gotten that stuff on your skin before, but it itches really bad. And uh, I've never had a problem with her doing it, but I've had some other tarantulas that were kind of getting tired of being handled after a while. And they just decided, you know what? No, flick, 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 get some hairs on my hand. And I didn't wash right away. And let me tell you, that is not a fun experience. It just itches and itches and itches. Uh, it can make little blisters in your skin, really not fun. So it works because it helps keep predators away from them. Cause you know, they're really fragile animals. Uh, you'll notice I tend to keep a close eye on her because, yeah, she moves nice and slow, but I don't want her to slip and fall because at this height, uh, this could actually kill her. So tarantulas are really, especially this species, they're really not the climbing type, but they like to stay low to the ground. Uh, they're nocturnal, of course, coming out at night using the cover of darkness to stay safe and go out hunting just smaller invertebrates, your occasional cockroach, a grasshopper, a cricket, sometimes even other tarantulas or even scorpions in some cases, but they don't have to eat very often. In fact, something like a, uh, even a cockroach makes for a very, very large meal for these guys that could easily last them more than a week. I mean, imagine that if you could just eat one cockroach and that's it, you're good for a week. But uh, despite their incredible abilities, there is one thing that may surprise you. So the very top of the head here, there's just this little dark bump. Believe it or not, that's where all eight eyes are located. And you think, wow, eight eyes, these things must have great vision. Not really. Tarantulas, like many arachnids, actually have pretty poor eyesight. And uh, it's, it's pretty funny because you'd think that having a lot of eyes, they would have good vision. But I'll tell you what they do have that's really sensitive. The other hairs across their body, like on her legs, these are totally fine to touch, by the way. You never pet back here, but you can definitely pet the legs of a tarantula. Uh, it's quite soft. I definitely encourage you to do it if you haven't done it before. But those are sensory hairs. Helps her feel where she's going. Even right now, uh, she can not hear my voice, but feel the vibration of my voice, uh, giving her a pretty good idea of what's going on around her. Um, and it helps when you're a nocturnal animal because, you know, you have poor eyesight, so you might as well have a great sense of touch. But these little guys can last you for a male, maybe about three to five years, but a female, you're looking at 20 years. Females also get bigger. Uh, so if you're gonna get your first pet tarantula, they're actually pretty easy to keep, though you probably wanna start with a boy first. Um, but no matter what, uh, honestly, an Arizona blonde, 
great choice as a tarantula. They're some of the calmest, most well-behaved tarantulas I've ever worked with, and they're real cuties and quite a pleasure. All right, guys, uh, we're gonna go ahead and let you go, but thanks again for joining us for another one of our videos. And we've still got so many more that we wanna uh, give to you, that we wanna make for you. So keep an eye out, keep looking us up uh, for more of our creature features, and we'll see you on the next one. I'm Michael, you guys take care.